Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Wildman Beats here, and we are going to be continuing with some more uh, Metro Exodus. In last episode, we made it across the bridge past the cultists without a firefight. No shooting happened. Um, so, pretty happy with that outcome. And now we are going to go further down the track on our way to Yamantel. Maybe we can get there. We'll see in, the, in this episode. So. Anyway, thank you for coming to watch this video. I hope you enjoy, and otherwise, let's get into it. We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons, and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Well, yeah, I, I was thinking, like... Okay, the people in Moscow survived because there's there was a subway system. So they escaped in the metro and that saved them. Well, plenty of other places have metros. New York City obviously has a ton uh, and a, a lot of other places. So it's like, why would people in Moscow be the only ones to survive? That doesn't make it complete sense. And it didn't. It was not correct. <laughs> Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. What's going on? Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. All right. Come on. Kind of let me up. sleep. Oh, you're gonna sleep now. Okay. You did a great job there. We're not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did. Smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry. I'm in a philosophical mood today. Oh, I was supposed to go see Miller, but you're babbling my ear off. Stay here for a bit, Artyom. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Whoa. This is great. I wish I could stay like this forever. Artyom, when you climb those ruins back in Moscow, or with your radio, did you imagine our life on the surface at all? A home for one. A place where we could live. A log cabin on the outskirts of a forest. Or how about a bungalow on an ocean shore? Well, you know, there's something great in simply going anywhere like this. Together. Through the abandoned stations, the ruins, the wasteland. Especially in our own private compartment. Thinking back, yeah, it is isn't nice this on the train. Trip? <laughs> it certainly feels like one, even though it's a bit late. We've only had some honeymoon sorties at best so far. There's my guns. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years, and they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They're just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are essentially slaves, for real. They what? work all day and pray all night, always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. 
Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Celantius. They don't even yeah. have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. Yeah. They're just entranced with him, with his ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance. Exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. Because they hide of what it and did. Keep praying. How can they you believe it was the cause of the ridiculous garbage apocalypse. within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna, <coughs> Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. <sighs> Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But Father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant. Be careful. The enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot, no matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is once we get to Yamantau. I feel like it'll get even deeper. <sighs> well, <laughs> what do you know? I do feel better now after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. She just talked my ear off for five minutes straight, didn't she? All right, run along. Dad wanted something. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna sit here. What can I do here? Can turn on the radio. That's it. Attention, attention. This is the special restoration committee speaking from the Ark Project base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cause. Proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811 79. Oh. Area 18-5 Moscow, repeat. Winter, Volga, Spring These are like the one chapters Shambler Oh, that was like my favorite shotgun, right? Damir, Duke, Yermak, Idiot, Alyosha, Sam, and Stepan. Oh, and Dokarev. And now we've got Crest and Katya and Nastya. Let's see what's further along on the. How long have we been on the Oops. road for? I've been listening to the radio too.
Oh, there's just music. Okay, we'll leave it on music. Oops, I didn't mean to do this. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. That's There's true. So much regular chatter. Man, she's so gonna Uncle keep talking. Tom. Uncle Tom! Uncle Tonkater has already set his shop up! Wanna go look? It's so cool! Yeah, one Here's sec. Uncle Tom. I got a note. Nastia's letter. Dear Daddy, I write this so you know where to look for Mommy and me when you come back. Because mommy and I wanted to stay, but Silentius says we must go to the tower and leave this car. And I don't want to. I wanted to wait for you back in the car, but mommy said I can't. And Silentius said you won't come back because you failed the test of faith. He is a stupid liar because you never needed any test as their faith is dumb. I remember you said so. Mommy said nothing, but I know she is waiting for you too. So please come back soon and take us away from these fools. I love you very much. I might have. That might have been a shitty accent. <laughs> ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Yeah, this is nice. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys yeah. found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I what? even decided where I'm going to work on the suits. I don't know but what I'm saying. To. And soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know. Well, Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore. And he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The colonel summoned you. Yep. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but now we do expedient to fix it. Damn, we've got nice quarters now. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Oh. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Oh, oh, that's what's going on. Oh, let's do a duet. Uh. this song reminds me of what played at the end of last light That was thank good. What? No, thank you to me. I, I, I was. I'm sorry to ask, Kutch, okay. but Nastya's father. He's dead, isn't he? Does Nastya know? He is. I tried keeping it a secret. They're gonna be a oh, cute couple. <laughs> well, what did you expect? <laughs> 
So, hey, Artyom, what's up with the your colonel's waiting carrier? for you on the bridge. Tokarev was mad. Ah, it's a long story. Around three days Come Wait, on. so... What's back here? Uncle oh, Tokarev! Uncle Crest. Tokarev! Oh, a smoke break! That's good. Oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. What? Are you well, getting stoned? Nothing we couldn't take. <coughs> well, you are the right kind of guys. I mean, you, the colonel, Duke. That guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child. But he's good. Oh. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You, you people accepted me, and and I, uh, I'm a simple guy. I, I, I will pay the debt back. Okay. I think he's stoned. So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing, so much space. It feels too empty to me though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. True. No, you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me, what the hell do you even need them for? Do you know if the war is still on? Well, of course, it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something off. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you. That means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the governor. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom, you seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. All right. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. Take care, my Uncle man. Tucker, do you have a sewing machine? No, I don't. That says all of those are coded transmissions. Oh, are you still they going on about? Oh, and shut up, Anna. You should cry well, there I am sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom, milling so about below. Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. <laughs> True. <laughs> that he did. Uh, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You asked me about the waste yourselves. So Can right. I get a drink? On. So I see Artyom get to the door, and I think it's time I came down. So I do. But something just holds on to me. What does? How should I know? It's dark. Nobody around. But I can't move. And those locals kept going on about Tsar something. So I thought I was in a kind of a bind. So? So I just unfastened the safety and leapt down. There was that shed down there. The roof was kind of close. Uh, 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 and what about the Tsar? Oh, blue! The Tsar was huge! Scary as shit! And there was this rusty bolt, and my carrier got snagged on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, Duke, are lucky you already have a nickname. <laughs> That's hilarious. And what was next? Oh, <laughs> next. Next we jumped that old preacher of theirs. Well, Artyom did most of it. <laughs> he swooped in like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rip, <laughs> no good. more drink. Well, I was clamoring about those beams and fighting that side. <laughs> oh, I'm killing myself. 
Well, he basically solved the whole problem. True that. Good job, Artyom. Yeah, you both did well. Crest also. True. <laughs> sure. He did a swell job distracting those guards. I almost wet my pants with laughter when they started hauling that timber. <laughs> he's an artist. Yeah, he's a great guy. You all came out on top of the game. And that calls for what? A trick. You I'm out. It. You truly are one of us now, Sam. <laughs> Will you be joining us? Nah, not now. I'll have some at dinner. Well, you'll have to catch up then. Sure thing. Anyways, we will just have a little as a warm-up now. It's <laughs> empty. Great! Ah, that's some good stuff. Can I get more? Uh, guys, there's something I've been thinking about. What does everyone expect of this trip? Rabbits. What are we doing with these? What? I guess we feed them long enough until we eat them. Nah, I need to shovel some coal. <laughs> I need to shovel some coal first. I wonder if this does anything after a while or it's just here. That's enough. All right, what's up, Miller? Listen, I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Tokara, he got the decoder working. Oh. This guy's full of shit. They're probably bandits themselves and they're planning on attacking us.
Officer, you do understand this is classified information. But I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the arc. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. You sound like so a caricature on there, now, dude. You doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. What? No, the he's lying himself. to you. This is incredible. He's lying. Way, Artem, you should take a look at the map. Oh, you're getting played, my man. As you can see, we're heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris tell me that the line there is in decent condition. Surprising, really, taking into account the number of priority targets there. So we can hope for smooth sailing from here and right to the very destination. It's okay. not even that far, but our speed depends on the state of the track. So I think it's going to take us quite some time to get there. Okay. So, Yermak, where were we? You were saying it's oh. all about the results. Let's see, is anybody out ah, here? Yes. So it's spring. Less ice. Still a little snowy, but maybe that'll be melting off. All sorts of houses still out here. Well, let's take a look at the map and head on. I guess these like intermediate zones are where you're supposed to like take half an hour talking to all your friends and seeing how everyone's doing it's a lot no, but it doesn't happen too not often all ends can be called just exactly and this is why why i have been Resume waiting for a journey. like this for ages and now everything seems to be coming together we are approaching the yamantau bunker the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. Oh, at he least is eagerly that. anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the Metro. I feel like it's not gonna be that simple. But we will find out. in the next episode um i know we didn't really get any gameplay in this one but it was a lot of talking and i'm sure we're gonna have a longer segment of combat coming after this well i'm not sure but it's likely but uh so we'll leave it here for now and continue in the next one so thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell button and as always have a great day